Alright, I finally figured out the sequencer node in Aximetry and it's quite powerful. Uh, and today we're gonna uh, make this screen, uh, this screen, move by uh, the sequencer node. And uh, let's do it. So, uh, in the last video we, uh, we made uh, the screen be able to move with the C node. And now we don't really need to go into Unreal anymore, we can do everything from here. So the first thing I do is create a sequencer, sequencer node. Uh, no, it's the sequencer, uh, and the next one is sequencer node. And we want to drag the tracks to position, and to be sure, uh, what, I'm, what I wanted to do is to have uh, some sort of it moving in and stopping there and uh, to be able to push again to move it out and to be sure we have to check which is it Y yeah it's Y let's push this little button over here and make the world transform go to add transform which is Python transform from this one so uh, let's double tap the sequencer uh, and it's quite confusing. The first thing we're gonna do is go to part and I want it to be maybe f five seconds long, but I can't go there. So I have to figure out the right command. I think it's, I can move on pushing the scroll wheel on the mouse. Let's, let's make it four seconds. That's good. Uh, and open up the position so we can see more and unselect everything except the Y position to move it up and down. So to create a new, uh, we have to go to key up here. Can you see it? Yes. Key and then press Alt to make a keyframe there and maybe make a keyframe over here and one over here. So let's move that one up and move that one up. Uh, and depending on how, let's see if I can, okay. When I hold in control and scroll the wheel, I make more space to drag it up. So that's right outside of the screen and let's move that one up as well. So if we play this one, it will just go down and it will go up. Pretty neat, but not really what we want. We want to, uh, we want it to stop at this place. So what we can do is, let's see if we can, if you hold in the timeline up here and press Alt, we make a marker, uh, and then we can go back to uh, this area, and you can make you can make a, as much markers as you want. You can make it pretty complex, but we for now we're just gonna use one marker to make it stop where we want it to stop, and. To make it stop, we need to create tell eximetry when to stop. And uh, here we have uh, a pin where it says which marker it's at. So let's create an equal node and drag the marker to A. And then we can, so when it's equal to one, we want it to stop. So here's a trigger. Hello, we want it to pause at least. So let's try this again. Let's play. It should pause. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, and then I can just play once more again and I just will continue playing. Boom. And now it's looping. So maybe we don't want it to loop as well. Stop. So play. It's going in and you can do whatever you want with and then if you want to move it out, you just push play. And that's pretty neat, right? I use it all the time, it's quite simple uh, and you can make uh, some more, uh, more cooler stuff, I guess. We could just uh, add to this by going to part, by going to the part uh, and make it longer. So maybe 
we could uh, do some oh instead of instead of it going up we could uh, uh, we could uh, make it go to the side so let's add an let's remove this keyframe so uh, let's remove that one as well and make so let's play it down so now it's paused there and what happens if we just move it to the side and we can add another marker two and we can maybe add another keyframe just for the demonstration purposes and add another marker so let's go back to then we can use the equal again so when it's equal to two we want it to pause oh that didn't work so now we have to maybe do a copy trigger could that could that work can we have no we can't trigger any trigger sequence trigger what what could we use here trigger any that seems unlogical to pile on everything but i guess you could do it like this so let's see if this works if we push play so now it stops there and it should go to oh it goes back and pauses and if i play on it comes back so that's pretty much how you can do uh, use the sequencer to do simple animations and you could of course add to this as much as possible but uh, but this is an easy way to animate a screen in and out uh, without needing to go into axiometry and the good thing is that uh, you can use the first C node to just move it but the animation will move with it which is pretty good so I can okay I, that's the wrong position I want it to be over here and then I can just keep playing the position so it's pretty good hope you learned something uh, be sure to uh, comment in the comments <laughs> comment in the comments comment comments if you uh, what you want me to show and uh, these are two things that uh, people often ask me about so uh, now here we go now you know how to animate a screen in axiometry good see you later heavy metal guys heavy metal